I convinced myself that I couldn't do it. I learned something. Whenever there's an argument between your heart and your mind, follow your heart. The heart can understand and feel the things that the mind cannot relate to. There are things that you feel that you know in your heart of hearts that's not logical, it's not realistic, it's not practical. But there's something in you that says, I can do this. After facing defeats and failures again and again and again, there's still something in you, I can do this. When life knocks you down, try and land on your back because when you can look up, you can get up. I can do this. It's interesting when you talk to people about securing their future. A friend of mine named Lorraine had me to come to do an intervention with her brother that was addicted to drugs and, and he told us to get out of his house. I said, I'm sorry I failed. I, I'm so disappointed. And she said something that I'll never forget. Most people won't participate in their own rescue. Most people won't participate in their own rescue. Wow. You have products that people need. You have training and coaching. You have leadership of people who've proven that it's possible you got a shot. It's possible you can live your dreams. We can't predict performance. Here's an opportunity. And don't take it personal when people say no to you. They're saying no to themselves. They're not saying no to you. They're saying no to living a bigger life because they're suffering from possibility blindness. They don't want to do that extra work. They can't see themselves doing more. So they're saving you some time. Don't want to work. Don't try and convince them. A person convinced against their will is of the same opinion still. Hard work and hard work. You've got to fail your way to success. You've got to be unstoppable. A setback is a setup for a comeback. You've got to be relentless. You've got to be able to have courage after you face rejection and after somebody tell you they're going to show up and then they don't come. It takes courage. Go out start talking to people I didn't do this for 14 years because I didn't have the courage of being rejected I was afraid I had a tremendous inferiority complex and something else to go from a nine to five to five until you faint it requires a radical change it's a different mindset God gave me a life I never even really dreamed of. He gave me even beyond what I dreamed of. The money they pay me, I either play music or I tell jokes. I entertain people for a living. They give me money. That's a blessing, man. I don't have to go to work. I get to go to work. Some people have to go to work. I get to go to work. You know, I mean, I was doing this for years for no money. And then, you know, I got other things I want to accomplish, you know. I'm not through. All I want to do now is make enough money to change uh, kids' lives. That's motivation. And then, you know, I'm a trailblazer, man. I got to show other people how to do it. You know, my job now is to show y'all how I did it. Motivation. I talk more about motivation now than I do comedy. That's why I talk all the time about it. Because, you know, your career is what you paid for, your calling is what you made for. So I'm in the calling part of my life now. Like, if I tell you you got to write it down, I'm telling you how to make it. I'm just, you have to do this. It, you could try to not do it. It's going to be hard. Because you're young, you know, everybody in this room, you want to be happy. And you want to be successful. If you don't want to be happy and successful, there's something wrong with you. Everybody in here wants to be happy and successful. Most people want to be happy and successful. You just need the key. That's my job. Is it? Like if I give you one scripture that can change your life and I tell you Habakkuk 2 or 2, you don't follow that, that's not my fault. My iPhone...
has my vision board on it. I ain't got no picture of no dog or my wife. My wife is at my house. My wife is, she's somewhere, she's in Rwanda right now. Because I put stuff that I dream about on my iPhone. So every time my phone rings, think of my visions and dreams. Every time I pick up that phone, I should pick up that phone to make one of them dreams come true. The same thing on the laptop. So every time I'm texting or email, I don't have time for nonsense. I'm trying to make a dream come true. It don't matter what they say. They don't know me. They say negative stuff about me. It don't mean nothing. Look at me. They don't even know me. They never met me. God keeps blessing me. It don't matter what you say. What I care what they say. You got to know who you are and whose you are. And that God of mine ain't going to let nothing happen to me that I can't handle. Uh, I quit school at age 19. My reasoning was I'm smart enough to get a job. And with that bit of shallow thinking, how much smarter do you need to be? I quit school at age 19, a little while later, a little while later, got married, started this little family, and I'm out there working hard, doing the best I could. Finally, the creditors once in a while are starting to call, and I'm embarrassed by that. Finally occurred, age 25. I hear this knock on the door. I go to the door, and there's this Girl Scout selling cookies. I mean, she gave me one of the finest sales presentations I've ever heard. Several flavors, Girl Scouts, only two dollars. She very politely asked me to buy. I wanted to buy. No problem. Big problem. I didn't have two dollars. I'm a grown man. I'm married with a family. I've been to college one year. I've been working for six years.
and I didn't have the two dollars in my pocket. That seemed too embarrassing. I didn't want to tell her that. I lied to her. And I said, look, we've already bought lots of Girl Scout cookies. We've still got plenty in the house. She said, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. When she leaves, I say to myself, I don't want to live like this. I mean, how low can you get lying to a Girl Scout? That's the ultimate. So I started my search that day. Very shortly, I met this extraordinary man by the name of Mr. Earl Schof. And sure enough, my life was never the same after that. And that's where this whole flow of unique ideas started for me. I had the opportunity to go to work for this extraordinary man. Then, unfortunately, he died. The, the things he taught me during that five years transformed my economic life especially. Chances, all of that. Personal life, my leadership came from that. experience. So maybe it's true when someone says, I've had it, and then you begin a new search. So make this note now, if you start the search, the odds are excellent, you will find good ideas. Finding is reserved for those that search. If you search, you will find. Ideas are not reserved for those that hope. They're not reserved for those who complain. They're not reserved for those that wish. You know, good ideas are reserved for those that search. Uh, go home with a, a harvest of good ideas for your marriage, for your friendships, for your business, for your life. We've all heard the expression, nothing so powerful as an idea whose time has come. I've been teaching capitalism now for the last 10 years in Russia to all the major cities. When an idea and its time is ready, it can be incredible. Nothing so powerful. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day Yo. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up
gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's 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 gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds uh, They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause it's sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. as an idea that comes at the right time. This would be a good time for you. Maybe you've got three numbers of the lock that needs four numbers from, you know, the sermons you've heard and the lyrics of the songs you've listened to and trainings and seminars and personal conversations and meetings and books you've read, all of that, right? You've got the three numbers. Just maybe this weekend could well be that fourth number for you that you've been looking for. So I hope that's true. Um, this could be a very important weekend for you.